Students, last class we have seen purine antimetabolites under antineoplastic agents. So, in this class we are going to see folic acid antagonist and also pyrimidine antagonist under antimetabolites. So, the drug coming under folic acid antagonist is methotrexate. This is the structure of methotrexate. So, what are the heterocyclic rings present here? This is called as pteridine. So, what is meant by pteridine? Already we have seen in sulfonamides. So, what is that? It is a fusion of two heterocyclic rings. One is the pyrimidine ring, another one is the pyrazine ring. So, fusion of these two can be called as pteridine. Numbering starts from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this one is 9, this is 10. So, here already we have seen the mechanism of uh, uh, mechanism of action of sulfonamides. No, in that we have seen dihydroteroic acid. So, what is meant by teroic acid? Here we are dividing. If it is be hydrolyzed, we are getting COOH here and NH2 would be going. So, this part is called as L-glutamic acid. We have seen that. And this part, no, that is the derivative of teroic acid. Here we have a bond between 7 and 8 that is why it is called teroic acid not dihydro. In the case of dihydro teroic acid what happens? It is not having bond, double bond between 7 and 8. So, here compare this one with teroic acid. So, what is that? In the case of teroic acid fourth position is having hydroxy group and this nitrogen or tenth nitrogen that is not having not having methyl that is having only hydrogen that is why this is called as 4 amino. So, fourth position amino, 4 amino, N10, N10, this is the 10th nitrogen, N10, methyl, this is called teroyl, up to this is called as teroyl. So, teroyl, glutamic acid, so that is the chemical name and we can compare that one with the folic acid. While comparing with folic acid, what happens? So, folic acid is having hydroxy group here in the fourth position that is not having amino group. That is why it is called as 4 amino 4 deoxy the toxin is absent that is why 4 deoxy folic acid derivative or we can tell the chemical name according to that this is this already we have known this is called as L glutamic acid this part no benzene ring with CO that is called benzoyl so totally it can be called benzoyl L glutamic acid that can be chosen as a parent here. So for the benzoyl group this would be the first portion 1, 2, 3, 4. So, with the fourth position only this would be attached that is why 4 open bracket and what is that this is called as pteridine already we have known ok. So, in that what happens second and fourth know that is having amino groups that is why 2, 4 diamino. So, sixth position of pteridine is connected with the methyl that is why 6 pteridinyl or pteridine 6 yl this is methyl then methyl amino close bracket this part is called benzoyl L glutamic acid. So, that is the one more chemical name for methotrexate. Now, we will see what are the uses of methotrexate that is used in the treatment of acute lymphocytic leukemia in children and also in psoriasis, head and lung cancer. Now, we will see the synthesis of methotrexate. So, this is the starting material for this synthesis. Already we have known. So, what is the heterocyclic ring present here? That is called as pyrimidine and that is having 4 amino groups at 2nd, 4th, 5th and 6th. That is why it is called 2, 4, 5, 6 tetra amino pyrimidine. So, with that we are adding this for this. Here see 1, 2, 3. So, 3 carbons that is why propane and that is having aldehyde that is why it is called propane aldehyde. Okay. So, this is the first carbon 1, 2, 3. Second and third are having bromo groups that is why di, 2, 3 dibromo propane aldehyde. So, by the addition of these two what happens here H combines with Br and removed as HBr. That is why that NH no that has to connect with the CH. So, we got this one. Then this one undergoes cyclization and also dehydration. So, how, how it forms? Here H2 combines with O and removed as water. That is why this nitrogen has to connect with the carbon by means of double bond. So, we got this. Okay. Next it undergoes dehydrogenation. So, there may be removal of hydrogens. Here hydrogen present with, uh, attached with the nitrogen, no, that hydrogen and also this hydrogen. These two hydrogens should be removed. That is why there may be formation of new double bond between nitrogen and carbon. So, we got this. Now, with that we are adding this. So, before that 
you uh, you see this benzene ring with nh2 that can be called as aniline okay so here if it is having one and it is having coh means that is called as anthranilic acid and here that nitrogen no that is having methyl means that is called n methyl anthranilic acid so up to this no this can be called as n methyl anthranilic acid here we have coh means this is called as n methyl anthranilic acid now come here so here it is having three carbons here 2 CH2 here 1 CH so 3 carbons no propyl here that may be taken as a parent uh, parent propyl anthranilic acid okay so here what happens this propyl no with the propyl this is first and second carbon this one is third carbon so first and the third are having that COOH group that is why it is called 1 3 dicarboxylic then third is having amino group also that is why 3 amino propyl so what is left this part is left so what is that n methyl anthranilate if it is having coh group that can be called as anthranilic acid but here that oh is removed as water by taking hydrogen from the amino group that is why it is called anthranilate so by adding with that what happens this H no combines with Br and removed as HBr that is why that CH2 has to connect with that nitrogen and we are getting methotrexate that is all about the synthesis of methotrexate. Now we will see the mechanism of action of methotrexate. Already we have known folic acid no so that will be converted into dihydrofolic acid by means of dihydrofolate synthase and this one would be converted to tetrahydrofolic acid by means of dihydrofolate reductase. So what is the use of tetrahydrofolic acid that is responsible for the synthesis of adenylic acid and inosinic acid. What is the role of adenylic acid that is mainly essential for DNA synthesis and what is inosinic acid that is essential for RNA synthesis that is the regular procedure ok. So what is the action of methotrexate that one is inhibiting that is the folic acid antagonist inhibiting the enzyme called dihydrofolate reductase. So by inhibiting that tetrahydrofolic acid would not be synthesized that is why adenylic acid and inosinic acid would not be synthesized. So, it is inhibiting the DNA and RNA synthesis. Next drug is called fluorouracil or we can say 5 fluorouracil it is coming in the pyrimidine antagonist. So, it is having a pyrimidine nucleus and in the case of pyrimidine second and fourth node that is having ketone. So, that should end with one. So, two ketones. So, it should end with dione and fluorine in the fifth position. And here first and the third nitrogen no that is having hydrogens that is attached with the hydrogen that is why it is called 1H3H pyrimidine dione. So what is left here pyrimidine dione and where the ketones are present at 2 and 4 that is why it is called 2,4,1H,3H pyrimidine dione and it is having fluorine that is why 5 fluoro. So 5 fluoro 2,4,1H,3H pyrimidine dione. What is the use of fluorouracil? It is used in the treatment of common solid tumors and topically it is used in the treatment of basal cell carcinomas and the pre-malignant skin keratosis. Now we will see the mechanism of action of 5 fluorouracil. This 5 fluorouracil is metabolized into 5 fluoro 2 deoxy uridine and this one is acting as an anti metabolite by inhibiting the enzyme called thymidylate synthase. So, what is the role of thymidylate synthase? That is an enzyme involved in the synthesis of 2 deoxy thymidine that is essential for DNA synthesis. So, what is meant by thymidylate synthase? That is involved in the synthesis of 2 deoxy thymidine that is essential for DNA synthesis. So, here what is the role of fluorouracil that one is metabolized into 5 fluoro 2 deoxy uridine and that is acting as an anti metabolite by inhibiting the enzyme called thymidylate synthase. So, by inhibiting that enzyme what happens DNA synthesis would be inhibited. Next drug is called fluoxuridin. So, this is the structure of fluoxuridin. Already we have seen this part in 5 fluorouracil no. Here the first, um, first nitrogen no, that is connected with the ribose or ribofuranose. So, here what happens if it is a ribose this would be number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for ribose. Here for ribose it, sh it should have a hydroxy group 
that should be attached in the second position. Okay, so here that was absent here. That's why it is called here first position is connected. I mean first nitrogen is connected with the ribose or ribofuranose. No, which ribose it is? D or L? It is a D ribose. And here what happens? Second hydroxy group is absent. That's why it is called 2 deoxy. Here that term. Um, Bond no, that would be a beta configuration. That's why beta D ribofuranosyl close the bracket 5 fluorouracil or we can write uh, 1 open bracket 2 deoxy beta D ribosyl. We can write ribosyl or ribofuranosyl 5 fluorouracil. It is a pro drug of 5 fluorouracil. So, it is metabolized to give 5 fluorouracil that is used in the treatment of myelocytic leukemia and the colorectal cancer. Next drug is called cytorabin. So, this is the structure of cytorabin that is also having pyrimidine and second portion is having ketone and the fourth one no, that is having amino group. So, first portion is having one heterocyclic ring. So, what is the sugar attached to here that is called as arabinose or arabinofuranose. So, it is having similar structure with ribose, but it is not a ribose, this is an arabinose or arabinofuranose. So, what is the difference between ribose and arabinose? Both are epimers. Already we have come across the word epimer. So, what is meant by epimer? They differ having same structure, but they differ only in configuration. Here the second portion no, so in the second carbon only they are varying. So, what is the sugar attached here? That is called arabinofuranose. Uh, so, what is the chemical name? In the first question only it is attached that is why 1 beta D arabinofuranosyl this is called cytosine. This is cytosine. So, what is the chemical name? 1 beta D arabinofuranosyl cytosine. It is a pyrimidine anti-metabolite. Here the sugar moiety is arabinose and here the second hydroxy group is having beta configuration rather than normal alpha configuration usually that is having alpha but here it is having beta what is meant by beta configuration here the group is attached above the nucleus the hydroxy group is attached above the nucleus what is meant by alpha that would be attached below the nucleus so that's all about pyrimidine anti metabolites